In Movies and Money, a sweet treat at the box office, our movie man, Eric Childress, a film critic and founder of the Movie Madness podcast is here. The long talked about Willy Wonka prequel hits theaters. How do you expect this film to score? Well, it's interesting, Angie. As you may know, film critics can be a cynical lot, but even I thought it hit a fever pitch given the announcement of Wonka with Timothy Chalamet in the role inhabited by both Gene Wilder and Johnny Depp over the years based on Roald Dahl's book. Now, certainly everyone is tired of hearing about intellectual property and longing for some original content, so I get part of that cynicism. But the fact that the film is being directed by Paul King, the person responsible for two of the most beloved family films of the past decade, and I'm talking with critics, the Paddington films, it seemed that any premature snark aimed at the film was more unfounded than usual. And what do you know? Critics appear to mostly be in favor of this effort as it hangs around 83% at Rotten Tomatoes. It should be an easy number one this weekend and is expected to earn in the 35 to $40 million range, which is probably lower than where Warner Brothers would like to see the numbers for this $125 million production. But it seems likely will be a film of choice throughout the weeks of Christmas vacation, and those numbers can certainly soar higher, especially with added international appeal. Now, like many films arriving in the next month, such as The Color Purple and Mean Girls, the studio appears to be hiding its musical aspirations, but I doubt that is going to put off anyone who loves the 1971 version and its pure imagination. Ah, uh, yes, pure imagination. Beyond Wonka, what else do you recommend? Well, if they're going to be around theaters while finishing their last-minute Christmas shopping, certainly check out last week's number one, The Boy and the Heron, and of course, Godzilla Minus One is still out there. Now, this is also the period you're going to want to be making notes about all the films garnering award attention, and will be opening in limited venues and expanding throughout the season, such as Poor Things from last week, and this week's American Fiction with Jeffrey Wright as a college professor and author, truly annoyed with the way that African Americans are portrayed through books and the media because of the way that they sell a more tragic-based narrative. So he decides to write an over-the-top version of those tales that, of course, gets him a lot of attention. This is a really well-put-together satire by director Cord Jefferson, who marries both the absurd and the everyday lives of these characters that makes for a very funny and really thoughtful tale about the fine line between fiction and nonfiction in some of the same ways that Spike Jones's masterful adaptation did back in 2002 absolutely jot this one down and look for it when it comes to your town because it's a really solid piece of work. Thank you, Eric, for being on the movie scene for us. Thank you, Angie. Go to businessfirstam.com for where to see our show on TV.